Okay, so we'll start with standing poses today. Let's do some warm ups, protect your hips. Tap, tap the body, tap the lower body, middle body, upper body. Let's practice that. Come to some city, keep your feet together as much as possible. Inhaling, bring the arms up. Interlock your fingers, stretch the arms, stretch the back. So slowly and gradually enjoy that stretch. Stretch the body in both the directions. Exhaling back to the right. Be gentle. Exhaling, bend to the other side. One more time. Let's practice that. Prasana. Push the feet down. Pull the kneecaps up. Interlock your fingers. Stand the palms up. Elongate this spine. So we are stretching the body in both the directions. Press the four corners of the feet down. Stretch, stretch. Now raise on your toes if you can without losing balance. Practice the shoulder rotations. Inhale, exhale. Take a moment with the breath. Your shoulders up, in, out, down. Let's practice the neck rotations gently. Inhale, exhale. Now turn the head from side to side. Inhale. Exhale. So remember, keep in mind that we are moving prana that happens only with awareness. And now drop the right ear to the right. Left ear to the left shoulder.
and bring the palms to the back of your head, bring chin to the chest, gently hold there. And move the head slightly from side to And look up. Once again, chin to the chest. And place the palms on the forehead then. And release. So now let's practice the neck rotations. In uh, exhale. And reverse. Now bring your left arm all the way to the right. Turn your head to the left. So we are experimenting by doing this in the standing pose. So if you feel comfortable, you can use this at work or when you are traveling. And release. So now once again, rotate the hips. And reverse. So now raise your right foot, make three circles. And reverse. And change, go to the other side. Now bring the right heel to the right, left heel to the left. And if you can, without any discomfort, raise your thigh. Raise the right knee. Bring your knee towards the uh, And release. Now you may sit on your heels. Put your head down. Relax. And you may come to all fours. Let's practice cat and dog stretch. Inhaling, raise the chin. Push the navel towards the front. Exhaling, gently round the back. Inhale. Exhale. Now raise your right leg. Flex the right. Inhale. Exhaling, bring the knee towards the chin. Inhale. Exhale. And change. And 
And now let's practice the spinal twist. Drop your chin towards the right. Right. Inhale. Exhale. And reverse. And release. Once again, bring your knees back. Stretch your back. Bring the chest as close as possible to the floor. Feel the stretch along it in the back. And come back, sit on the hips, the back. Now you may. Come to downward dog and bring one heel down at him. Right heel down, left heel down. Make sure that you are not hurting the ankle or the foot. So which means you may have to move your feet a little forward if you like to maintain the balance. But eventually you have to get to a stage where both the heels are coming down. That's how it might go. So gradually move the heels back and try. Now raise your right leg. Do not bend at the knee. Send the raise the leg as high as you can and hold. And change. And come back. Once again, sit on the face, put your head down, relax. Now let's practice the cobra piece. Move the chin parallel to the back. And here, be gentle, right? So, for example, if you are more flexible, if you feel like doing it, raise a little higher. Push the pelvis forward. Or you can stay there. And while coming back, do not force yourself to sit on the heels. Come as close as possible to the heels. Inhale. So, we are practicing the back bend and the counter stretch. Inhale. And stay there. And back to the other one. Now raise your raise on your toes. Bring the knees, bring the chest as close as possible to the face. Bring the heels down. Inhale. Exhale. Now raise the right leg. Send the right, right bend at the right. Knee. Send it to the ceiling. And bring the right knee between your palms. Look up. In back. Send it as high as possible. Exhale. Look up. Like a rajik of rotas. And 
and change. Go to the other side. Forward. Let's practice two rounds of Surya Namaskars gently. Relax. Come to Samasthiti. Bring your total awareness to the body. Visualize all the chakras. Take a deep inhalation and a long exhalation. So let us start when you are ready. Om Mitra Yanamaha Om Ravaye Namaha Om Surya Yanamaha Om Bhanave Namaha Right knee completely on the floor. Make sure the left foot is under the left foot. If palms are coming down, that's okay. Or gently you can support the arms with your... Uh, you can uh, be, be gentle with the wrist. And move slightly forward and back. Om Savitre Namaha Om Akkaya Namaha Om Bhaskaraya Namaha Om Nitraya Namaha Om Bhaya Namaha Om Suryaya Namaha Om Push the pelvis forward. Feel that nice stretch in the hip. Like this. Om Kalaya Namaha. Om Pushne Namaha. Om Hiranya Vibhaya Namaha. Om Arita Namaha. Om Stretch on the right side. Look up. Om Kalaya Namaha. 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 Feel the stretch. Move forward and back. So we are releasing the hips. Om Sahitya Namaha. Suspend the arms. Move them to one side. To the other side. Om Atmaya Namaha. Om Bhastaraya Namaha. Relax. Om Mitra Yanamaha 
And now you may lay down on the mat on your back. And relax completely. Inhaling, bring the arms beyond the head. Exhaling, bring the arms back to the body. Inhale. Exhale. Now you may bend your knees, drop the knees to the right, turn your head to the left, knees to the left, turn the head to the right, side to side. Now separate the feet by the width of the mat, right knee to the left. Left knee to the right. And release. Bring both the knees into the chest. Exhale. Inhale. And rotate the knees and hips clockwise. Your left leg. Bring the right knee into the chest. Get ready for Apanasana. Inhale. Exhaling, raise the chin. And place the right foot on the left side. Extend your right arm. Bring the knee down on the left side. So practice Therasokamasana. 
enjoy the pose and be in a meditative state. And release. Rotate the right knee and right. And reverse. And change. Straighten the right leg. Bring the left knee into the chest. Make sure you are comfortable. Inhale, exhaling, raise the chin. Left foot on the right, extend your left. Gently hold there for five to ten breaths. Make sure the left shoulder is completely on the ground. This should be avoided if you have any hip problems or if you have sciatica or back conditions, please do not practice this. Hold the left, rotate the left knee and left flow. And reverse. And release. So now you may bend your knees. Let's practice gentle bridge force. Inhaling, raise your hips. Exhale. Inhale. This time, straighten the right leg. Hold there. Do not have to raise the leg too high. Keep it parallel to the ground. Exhale. Inhale. Straighten the left leg. One last time. Relax. Now let's do this without raising the hips. Just raise the abdomen. Create a gap between spine and the mat. Inhale. Exhaling completely squeeze the abdomen. Merge the spine into the mat. Inhale. Exhale. Now you may shift to the abdomen. Put your forehead down, extend the arms, relax.
mentally scan throughout the back with each inhalation and exhalation. Coming to Makaras, stay there. In the right heel to the right, left heel to the left, one heel at it. Now both the heels to both the heels. Now keep the heels together, bring the heels as close as possible to the spine. And move your, move your elbows closer to each other. Hold there. So your heels are almost touching the hips. Towards the right side. Raise your left. Look up. And heels to the right. Raise the right. Side to side. Now, prop your head on one side. Press the other, other arm on the floor. Raise your feet one or two inches above the ground, not too much. Hold them. want a stronger pose, remove the support and bring the arm to the shoulder for you. Back.
So now let's practice the counter pose for Bakrasana, that is child's pose. Sit on the hips, put your head down and relax. Now let's practice leg lifts. Keep the strap ready. Relax the body. Lay down on your back. So first let's practice Padanushtas. Take the strap. So gently practice the Padanushtas. So what is important, keep the knee straight and adjust the tension in the calf muscle and hamstrings. If you haven't done it in a while, you can feel that. You feel a deeper stretch. And now bring the right foot all the way to the right side. Turn your head to the right. Gently hold there. Do not go to extremes. And bring the right foot all the way to the left. Extend your right. We have to hold here until any discomfort you have may go away. And release. Change. Go to the other side. Bring the left foot all the way to the left. Turn your head to the right foot.
And release. Now once again, bend your knees. Bring the knees into the chest. Open the knees. Close. Open. Close. Rotate. Do a nice massage to the back. And reverse. And release. Now stretch your legs. Bring your best. Let's start with the leg lifts. Extend your arms on either side, palms facing the ceiling. Point your feet. Push the heels back. Point. With the next inflation, raise the feet to 90 degrees. Open the feet at the top. Join the leg before. Inhale, exhale, and reverse. Relax. Now raise the right leg, raise the left leg. Two more times. Now raise the right leg, make three large circles. Do not bend it down. Just lower the bend. And reverse. And release. And check, go to the other side. Inhale, exhale. So enjoy that skip rotation. So we release the calf muscles, hamstrings. Now we are releasing the hips. Inhale, exhale. And reverse. So now let's practice the bridge pose. Bend your knees. Place the palms under the hips. Inhaling, raise into bridge. Exhale. Inhale. Come to a supported bridge if you can. Walk the right foot forward. Walk the left foot forward. Come back. Relax. Uh, 
So now you may bring your palms under the hips. Relax the breath. Master all your energy for leg lifts. Point your feet. Inhale. Bring the feet to 90 degrees. Exhaling, bring the feet to one inch above the ground. Do not bend at the knees. Inhale, five seconds. Exhale, longer than five seconds. You can come down and rest when you need to, do not stay. Relax. So now you may extend your arms on either side. Stretch the arms, point your feet and push the heels back. Point. Raise your feet. Now gently bring the feet towards the right side without raising the shoulders. Turn the head to the left. Inhale. Exhale to the other side. Keep going. And relax. So now you may bend your knees, keep the knees together, drop the knees to the right, turn the head to the left. Knees to the left, turn the head to the right, side to side. Now drop the knees to the left side, place the left palm on the right knee, extend your right arm, hold there. Right shoulder completely on the ground. And change. Inhale. Exhale. Drop the knees towards the right side. Extend your left arm. Hold it. So 
practice Thera Sukhamasana. So do not let the mind wander. Focus on the breath. Focus on the stretch. And release. So one more time. Bring the knees into the chest. Inhale. Exhale. Rotate the knees and hips. And reverse. Now, let's practice Jatra Pravati. Keep the knees together. Drop the knees to the left. Straighten the right leg. And extend your right arm. Hold. So reach where you can. To the calf muscle, to the ankle, or to the foot. The idea is right leg should be straight. And extend your right arm, right shoulder on the ground. Hold. And release. Change. Go to the other side. Drop the knees to the right. Right arm on the left. Straighten the left leg. Four. Reach where you can. Stay there up to 10 to 20 minutes. Release. Now, once again, separate the feet by the width of the mat. Right knee to the left heel. Left knee to the right heel. Always make sure that there is no discomfort. And place the left heel on the right side. Turn your head to the right. And change. Right heel on the left. So now, once again, extend your, stretch your legs. Inhaling, bring the feet to 90 degrees. Palms facing the ceiling. Let the feet go towards the palm. Almost touching the palm without raising the shoulders. Inhale, exhale, touch the palms if you can. Let the feet travel towards the palms.
and now drop the feet on the left side. Chaturanga Pravritti. Straighten both the legs. Extend your right arm. Practice. Be comfortable. Press the left palm on the ground. Raise the feet. Hold there. And without separating the feet, and without bending the knees, drop the feet on the right side. Straighten both the legs. Practice the other side. Jetra Pravritti. Enhances Jetra Agni. You can see the nostrils getting released. So all the nadis start flowing and opening. Because we are doing this with inner focus. And release. So now, once again, bring the feet up, press the feet down. Bring the right knee towards the floor, straighten the left leg. Press the left, left knee down, straighten the right leg. Right to side. And forward and back. And stand up. So we'll practice a few more standing poses to get ready for standing poses. You may take a little break if you like. And we'll start with the standing poses.
we will practice a few more sudanams first and then see. Stretch the back, bring the hips down. Relax. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so what I'm thinking is since we had a gap, if it's a good idea not to practice too many asanas today, we will practice inversions and then pranayams. That's okay with all of you. So it's better that we kind of, you know, uh, slowly take it. Maybe next Wednesday we can practice more intense asanas. And of course, tomorrow and day after again we will practice. Okay, so now uh, let's practice inversions. Let's take 10 minutes for inversions, then we'll start pranayams. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, <laughs> 
So we have to stay in the child's pose for one third of the time. So if you practice, you have to stand for five minutes. You have to stay there for about a minute, minute and a half. Okay, so we will start the pranayams. Just get ready for pranayams.
So we'll start with Kapal work and practice as many times as you can, maybe 40, 60, or up to 100 times. Relax the breath. We will go to the next round when we are ready.
Now let's practice. Good day, friend. You may be we'll hold for three seconds. About six round, six rounds. So. Okay, so place your palms on the hips, palms facing the floor, and practice with jai breath with each arm. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. And locks are optional. Breathe in. In with jai. Oh. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold, breathe in, hold, breathe out. Hold, breathe in, hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold, breathe in, hold, breathe out, hold, well done, relax. Take a few normal breaths. Second round, thumbs and the armpits, palms facing the ceiling uh, floor. Press the thumbs and the armpits. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. In with Jay. Breathe in. Hold, breathe out. Hold, breathe in. Hold, breathe out. Hold, breathe in, hold, breathe out, hold, breathe in, 
Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold, breathe in, hold, breathe out. Hold, well done, and relax. Now the third and final row. Keep your palms on the shoulder blades. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold, breathe in, hold, breathe out. Hold, breathe in, hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold, breathe in, hold, breathe out, hold, well done, relax. Now, in a way, we practice air pistolism, Antar Pumbaka and Bahi Pumbaka. So, we are ready for Nadi Shodan Pranayam. Maybe we'll do a few more rounds today for about 20 minutes. Then we will do practice yoga and drive your okay. So, let's practice Nadi Shodan Pranayam. So I'll remain silent because you know, relax and get breathing. comfortable. Focus on your breathing.
Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. Relax. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. Relax the breath. Take a few normal breaths.
relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in, hold, breathe out. Hold, breathe in. Hold, breathe out. Hold, well done. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Well done. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in, hold, breathe out, hold, breathe in. Hold, breathe out. Hold, well done. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold, breathe in, hold, breathe out, hold,
Well done. Now maybe we can practice two rounds at a time and see the difference since we are a smaller group today. So you will see, see the difference when we are practicing one round at a time. It's much easier, but maybe you can experiment and see if two rounds work for you. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold, breathe out. Hold, breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold, well done. And you can also practice this without using your hand. So that is pranavidya, right? So inhale, hold, exhale without actually holding the nostrils. So maybe we will do one, um, yeah, two rounds to rest. So make the left nostril dominant, right nostril dominant. Relax dominant. and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Relax. Breathe in. Inhale to the left. Hold. Between the eyebrows. Breathe out. Exhale to the right. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold, breathe in, hold, breathe out, hold, Breathe in, hold, breathe out, hold, well done. So now visualize the Ida and Pengala Nadis to be on either side of the Sushunma Nadi along the spinal cord and like a serpent coil like this. So 
So then what happens? Your practice becomes deeper. So you are exactly focusing on the nadi through which the prana is flowing. Nathal is only an instrument. So let's practice that. Relax and get comfortable. Focus on your breathing. Completely relax. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. 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 Well done. And release. Okay, so now we'll practice bravery and then we'll move on to yoga nidra. Relax the breath. The last time, one of the trips that Swami Mahesh taught us, Pranavidya, he made us practice. So that's how I actually learned and experienced it. So hopefully this time he will have time to do that. Okay.
Okay, so we'll practice yoga nidra. Tomorrow I may have to close at seven. I have to pick up my mother-in-law from the airport. So we'll catch up again on Friday more time. Tomorrow we will practice up to seven, five to seven. So yoga nidra is a practice of relaxation. It takes you deep into a psychic sleep. That means you are not actually sleeping. You are between waking and sleeping. So it's probably a dreamy state. And then if you follow the instructions that I'm going to give you, if you follow them, uh, follow me along, then you will find that most relaxing for you. So keeping the palms facing the ceiling, natural cover the fingers, make sure your eyes are closed, allow the feet to fall to the sides, and then begin to feel the body as it lies on the floor. Feel the meeting points of the body and the floor. Under the shoulders, under the elbows, wherever they touch the floor, under the palms, under the hips, under the knees, and under the heels, and also under the head. Now, feel all those meeting points once again and see how your body is sinking into the floor more and more nicely. As the body sinks into the floor, you are also feeling the heaviness of the body increasing. Now bring your attention to the chest area. From the chest, as you close your eyes, feel the space from the chest to the ceiling. Just feel it, create a feeling of the space. Now, from the right side of your body, feel the space to the wall on the right. Now, do the same with your left side, from the left side of the body to the wall on the left. Now, bring your attention to the top of the head and feel the space from that spot to the wall behind and beyond your head. Now feel the space from the soles of your feet to the wall in front of the feet. Now feel the space once more under the body. How the body is grounded to the floor and your body is absolutely still and comfortably still. The word comfort is important in relaxation. If you're comfortable, you can continue. If you're not comfortable, you have to move until you are comfortable. So any change in position you can do now, but try not to keep moving. Try to be still. Only in stillness, you get a deep relaxation. Now bring your attention to each part of the body by bringing the consciousness to the right hand thumb. Your mind is moving to the thumb, but the thumb is not moving. You're bringing awareness to the thumb. Second finger. It will go very quickly now, second finger, the third finger, the fourth finger, and the fifth finger, the front of the palm, back of the palm, and the elbow, the right shoulder, and the waist, the right hip, the right thigh, knee, calf muscle, ankle, heel, the right big toe, second, third, fourth, 
fifth. Now feel the whole of your right arm and the whole of your right leg, the whole of your right side and feel it is becoming heavier. And with that heaviness, you're also relaxing even more. Do the same with your left side, left hand thumb, second finger, third, fourth, fifth, front of the palm, back of the palm, wrist, elbow, shoulder, armpit, waist, left hip, left thigh, knee, calf muscle, ankle, heel, left big toe, second, third, fourth, fifth. Now feel the whole of your left side once again, making sure it is heavier and also relaxing. Now attention on both arms and both legs. Both arms and both legs heavier than before. And as a result, you're also feeling a deeper relaxation. Bring your attention now to your lower back, middle back, and upper back. And begin to soften the entire spine with your thoughts. Bring your attention to the back of the neck and soften the back of the neck. Continue with the back of the head also relaxing and the top of the head. Now come to the top of the head. Feel a sensation there. Feel the forehead and the space between the eyebrows. The space between the eyebrows is a very important center of energy it's called the eye of Shiva, the third eye of Shiva. Continue down to the eyes, the right eye, the left eye, the right ear, the left ear, the right nostril, the left nostril and the right cheek, the left cheek. So your mind is moving to all these parts quickly. Now feel the upper lip and the lower lip, and also the chin, front of the neck, chest, abdomen, internal organs. Feel the internal organs also. Now begin to scan your body from the head to the toes. Develop a homogeneous awareness of the whole body. Become aware of the space occupied by the body. Become aware of the whole body and the floor. The whole body in relation to the floor. At the same time, become aware of the meeting point of the body and the floor. These are very subtle physical points between the body and the floor. Feel the meeting point between the back of your head and the floor shoulder blades and the floor, elbows and the floor, back of the hands and the floor, buttocks and the floor, the calves and the floor, the heels and the floor. Do not sleep. Switch your attention now to the eyelids. Feel the narrow line of meeting between the upper and lower eyelids. Feel the sharp points where they meet. 
intensify your awareness between the eyelids. Now the lips, center your attention on the line between the lips, the space between the lips. From the lips, we go to the breath. Draw your attention to the natural ingoing and outgoing breath. Feel the breath moving along the passage between the navel and the throat. On inhalation, it rises from the navel to the throat. On exhalation, it descends from the throat to the navel. Be completely aware of the respiration. Navel to throat, throat to navel. Do not try to force the breath. Just bring awareness to the breath. Now, maintaining your awareness, start counting your breaths beginning from number 10, first exhalation number 10, second exhalation number 9, continue until 1. Now you may stop counting. So let's come back to the body. Awaken the feeling of heaviness in the body. The feeling of heaviness in every single part of the body. You are, fe you are feeling so heavy that you are sinking into the floor. Awareness of Heaviness, awareness of heaviness. Now, let us reverse the whole scene. Awaken the feeling of lightness, the weightlessness. Feel completely weightless in your body in all parts of the body, your body feels like a piece of cotton, so very weightless. Awareness of lightness. Now begin to awaken the sensation of heat. Awaken the experience of heat in the body. The whole body, you feel it is hot. The whole body is hot. You feel hot all over. Recollect the feeling of heat when you are out in the sun with no shade, heat all over the body. Awareness of heat. Now once again, change and feel the experience of cold. Awaken the experience of bitter cold in the body. Imagine you're walking on a cold floor in winter. Your feet feel very cold. You feel cold all over. Awareness of coldness. 
completely cold, bitter cold. Now bring your awareness to the dark space you see in front of your closed eyes. The dark space that you see in front of your closed eyes. Actually, this space can also be visualized in front of the forehead. So if you want to explore it a little, you can shift your gaze to the forehead. Watch the darkness that you see before you very carefully with detachment. Do not become involved. Rest your mind in this warm and friendly darkness. If any subtle phenomena manifest, for example, colors or patterns, simply take note of these and continue with your awareness. If thoughts begin to happen, let them come and go, but continue watching the dark space in the forehead. Continue this with detached awareness. Slowly now become aware of your breathing. Become aware of your natural breathing. Become aware of your relaxation. Feel your normal breath. Gradually develop awareness of your physical existence. Become aware of your arms and legs and your body lying stretched out on the floor. Become aware of the meeting points between your body and the floor. Once again, gradually develop awareness of the room without opening the eyes. Feel the colors of the walls, the ceiling. And then open your ears to any noises in the room and the noises outside. Externalize your mind, take your mind out at this point, but do not open your eyes until I tell you. Become completely external. Lie quietly for a few moments. Keep your eyes closed. Gradually when you're sure that you're wide awake, take a deep breath, inhale, and a long exhale. And after that, begin to bend your legs, shift over to the right side, and then bundle up into the child's pose, become cozy, casual, and comfortable.
You may gently press your left palm on the floor and sit up. Once you sit up, rub your palms, apply the warmth to your right. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niravaya Sarve Bhatrani Pashyantu Makashtitu Kabag Bhave Asatoma Sadgamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Vityorma Rutangamaya Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Pashishyate Om Shantishantishantihi Harihi Om Shri Guru Pyonamaha Harihi Om Thank you, Andy. Balaji Garu, that's the break. Oh, no. I'll use Bluetooth. Why do you think it is breaking for some reason? For some reason, you can use it, but you can use it. You can use it, 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 you can use it. 